What's up my loves and welcome back to another three year training plan on FIFA 17 where you pick a player or I pick a player and we train for three whole years. In this episode we are going to do Christian Eriksen from Spurs and you can see what players with a 90 plus club like the Dybala, Akadi, Mura, Dolberg, Sanchez, Lukaku, Rashford, Benos Silva and players like that. Hopefully Eriksen can get into that league. Thank you FIFA Dino for suggesting Ericsson. Ericsson starts off at a 86 rated player. He can play a cam, he can play centre mid, left midfield, right midfield and attacking mid and I think he can play centre forward role as well. Um, some of it, He's got very very good stats especially for an 86 rated player so hopefully he'll get above 90. Uh, his potential is over 90 so we'll see if we can get him more than what his potential is. As you can see, if you want to stop the video at any point to look at his stats, you're more than welcome. But what we're we going to concentrate on, his weaker stats are his jumping, aggression, all his defending stats. So we're going to try and bulk him up on defending, even though he won't necessarily defend that well if he's playing cam or centre forward role. His speed's not very good, his finishing's terrible. Apparently his volleys and his penalties and his headering is terrible as well. So we're going to concentrate on that for about three years. But within the first season, he went up by a massive four, which is very, very surprising. Didn't expect him to go to four. And he's hit his 90 already, so he's entered in the 90-plus club, which is quite good because we haven't had a player in the 90-plus club for a while now. But you can see some of, his stats grew, some of his stats grew by the threes, twos. I think some of his defending stats went up by six, seven at, at some points. I think he lost... I think the second season you'll probably see he did lose a couple of stats on some of his um, aggression. His stamina is because he's getting older. All players will lose their stamina and their sprint speed and stuff like that. But his sprint speed did go up this season. Went up a little bit the following season and went down in the third season you can see. And he's got some spe specialist traits there as well. Defending exactly the same. Concentrate on his um, the training. He'll, we concentrate on the defending. The speed, finishing, volleys, penalties. And I did, I think the last season, I think I concentrated on free kicks. Because his stats are really, really good at free kicks. But it's sort of boostering that up a little bit more. And in the second season, he grew by the two, which is not too shabby. And so he grows to 92 rated. And apparently he was one of the best in the world, it said, when I was going through. Which is not too bad at all. That's not too shabby. They only some of his stats only grew by threes and twos. You can see fours. Uh, there's one five in there, I believe. But yeah, he's, most of his stats are great. His his reds are going to be keeping, so we will, won't count them. But most of his stats are green and orange, which is not bad at all for a cam player like Ericsson. But I highly recommend you buy him on career mode because he's probably I've never used him on career mode, but he's. But it probably cost a lot of money to get out of, or to get him away from Tottenham, and also, um, yeah, it just costs a lot of money to get him from Tottenham. They probably wouldn't necessarily sell him. I don't think he got any specialist traits that time round. But in the third and final season, we concentrate on the same stats as what we did before. He's defending. I don't think he's done penalties this time round, but the volume header in, and he's. Uh, stamina and spree, uh, speed, speed. We con <laughs> we concentrated on to try and get him up to over ninety two. Fingers crossed. And you'll see the defending. What we do, same as normal. Concentrate on his weaker stats to boost him up quicker. And you can see his potential is only ninety, and he's reached ninety. <laughs> he's reached ninety three. So that is not. Bad. Training him for three whole years, that is not too bad from a player like Ericsson. I didn't think he'd actually get to 90 because I think there's one season that I saw him, he grew to 89 and then he got an injury, a couple of injuries and it decreased him. So it probably would, if you played him, he, I think he's quite injury prone, I believe. So that probably would, that would affect his growth, how, how he grows in within the game. Because I think that's what happened to him last time. He got a couple of injuries. That sort of decreased his chance of 
grown into a decent player, but 93 rated Ericsson in a cam centre mid. You can even put him centre mid, centre forward. He'll do a job there, and he's probably quite good to play with. I haven't actually used him, so I don't know how good he is. But and he got all the traits, complete midfielder, sprint horse or something, I think he got. Um, top striker or something else. But you can see he joins the 90-plus club along with the rest of Icardi, Dolberg, and players like that. But hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This will be the last one on the three-year training plan as FIFA does come out in the next few weeks. But I will do a sort of overview of the past this year's FIFA on all the ones that I've done and we see who's got the best rating overall. But hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and I shall see you in my next video. Adios.